A new addition inside of Premiere Pro Creative Cloud is the ability to apply masks within an effect. This is a huge time saver and will cut down on the need to use track mats or additional layers or effects. Let's turn off this adjustment layer and simply select this clip here, number two. What I'd like to do is apply an adjustment to the top. Under effects, I'm going to apply a curves adjustment. And I'll take the Luma curve and drop that onto the shot. Under effect controls, I'll simply pull that down a bit and lower the value of the whites. While I'm happy with what it did at the top here, I really wish it wasn't applied so much to the bottom. You'll notice the ability here to click and add a mask. For example, I can create a four point polygon mask. And now those individual points can be moved. You'll see here that we can adjust the settings. The mask itself can actually be tracked to move to objects or you could simply grab these and move the points. So I'm just going to mask out that area where the sky is. And in fact, set this right here. There we go. And right about there. A little bit of a feather to create a gradual transition. There we go. And let's pull that down just a little bit. And you'll notice that by masking the effect, I've only gone after that area of the sky, making it quite simple to target the adjustment. This is a hugely welcome addition to Premiere Pro Creative Cloud, and be sure to explore how you can use the tracking here, as well as the ability to expand, feather, and blend the mask. Remember, not only can you mask out the area, you can also invert it so it affects everything else. This makes it easier to select what you want or perhaps what you don't want and then affect just that part of the image very quickly.